He's uh, a, an artist with an international profile and a local artist. So, as an example to local people in this area, the good thing about that is that he can show what, what is possible for people if you are, you know, you've got integrity, enthusiasm, desire. Um, to cut a long story short, to go back to the ceiling is the fact that um, he's interested in architecture, installations and the, the, the way that interiors work their function and because he's also interested in the na in narrative in his work uh, between places like South End, Japan, Detroit for example, Berlin, Leipzig, um, the whole thing becomes about the radical potential of uh, the architecture and history of a specific place to tell a story about world history. So for example, I mean personal history of Triss is that his mother's from Germany, his father's from America. Um, and they both met in, uh, well, in Germany, I think, but then lived in London and needed to move out. So through his father's friendship with Henri Chopin, they moved to South End because Henri Chopin, a concrete poet, had experience of living there. So there's also an art reason why Triss was brought up here. So again, Germany, Berlin, uh, and Detroit is the reason. You know, Ford Motor Company, Detroit, Dagenham, East London, Essex. Um, Berlin, the Cold War, his personal history maps onto world history. So the fact that the location for all of this is South End is quite an interesting. Yeah, at the same time, the fragile ties of my life were on display, splintered between glass panels, shadows, and material constructions. Material constructions, freeze, freeze, which stain, stain, and torn that can never be deemed as domestic. But somehow I felt integral, but somehow I felt integral to my history He narrates his photographs, which are experiences, past experiences of places around the world, and um, uh, basically kind of tells stories about those photographs so they're not kind of too mysterious um, in a way. And he kind of, kind, kind of tries to demystify them, but in a way, I suppose they're even mystifying, more, even more mystifying in a way, because you're trying to translate two things rather than one thing, it's the, la the two different languages. But in essence, what, what is interesting here is that within a library you've got storytelling, narrative, work that links to literature and photography within a photographic gallery in a library. So um, that's the reason why he's playing with as much as he possibly can to make an entire surround experience by working with the ceiling.